Greetings, Fortniteers. This is Jicky Seth. We're going to use Silver Surfer in this match, and as you can see, I have the Victory Royale crown right now. There's the Kame House in the background. I played this match right after the last match on Saturday. Check out that loading screen. There's Galactus, Meow Schools, Cuddle Team Leader, and is that Jules? I could be mistaken. Alright, we're going to be in the match in a second. Interesting thing happens in this match. I have the Victory Royale crown. I get on the battle bus and it disappears. Somebody ripped me off on the battle bus. Who was it? That'd be funny if that's a real thing. Alright, we're going to be in the game in about a second here. And you will see I still have the crown in the battle bus lobby. Sorry about the delay on this. This is taking quite a bit of time. But you can admire that loading screen. It is a beaut. And after I get this video off my plate, the very next video is going to be Sun Goku. That's right, Dragon Ball has taken over Fortnite. We're going to get into that in a bit. We're going to head over to Fortnite.com. They have a whole big news piece on that. Oh, check that out. We completely bypassed the Battle Bus lobby and went straight to the Battle Bus. I wonder if that had anything to do with me losing the crown. But if you remember correctly, I had the crown when I was hanging out in the regular lobby with the Kame House. And when you see me jump into the game here, you're going to notice that the crown has been stripped from the Silver Surfer. He's not too happy about that being the Herald of Galactus. Check it out. No crown. Alright, Reflective Rider of the Cosmic Currents. Silver Surfer is a Marvel Series outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that can be purchased in the item shop for 1500 V-Bucks or with the Silver Surfer bundle for 2200 V-Bucks. That's what I did. And check it out, we're going to head straight to Pontoon here. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. You guys remember the game Kingpin and Pawnomatic? That was a cool game. Be Real from Cypress Hill, who did the soundtrack. I used to play that game way back in the late 90s. That's old school right there. But as I was saying, Silver Surfer was first released in Chapter 2 Season 4 and is part of the Silver Surfer set. I bought him when he first hit the item shop way back in Chapter 2 Season 4. I didn't think he'd be back again. I was wrong because he's had 51 item shop appearances. He was last seen December 29th, 2021. That's 232 days ago. That of course is incorrect, because he was just in the item shop last week when they brought back all the Marvel skins. Looks like I got one on Fortnite Wiki here. All right, the first time he hit the item shop was August 30th, 2020. 718 days ago for his release date. That's a magic date, by the way, August 30th. That's when the Dragon Ball quests end and rewards, so make sure to unlock those. We're calling that the Dragon Ball Battle Pass, even though that's not officially what it's called. It's called Power Unleashed. Speaking of Dragon Ball, I watched an episode of Dragon Ball Super last night on Hulu. It was the episode where Son Goku fights Frieza for the first time. I wonder if Frieza is going to be a skin. I'm pretty sure they're going to add some more Dragon Ball skins. As the Dragon Ball event continues, power unleashed. Alright, here's some trivia on Silver Surfer. His ID is CID847 Athena Commando M like Marvel Soy 2AS3C I wonder if Silver Surfer here is a vegetarian. And Silver Surfer is bundled with the Herald Star Back Bling. You're looking at that right now. As I said before, I picked up the Silver Surfer bundle when it first came out, way back in Chapter 2 Season 4. And this is what came with it. Silver Surfer the outfit, of course. The Herald Star Back Bling. Silver Surfer's surfboard. The Silver Surfer Pickaxe. The loading screen, we got that from something else. I think that was part of the battle pass. And the reflector wrap was not included in the bundle at that time. I see that it is now included. So if you pick up the Silver Surfer bundle now, which you can't because it cycled out of the item shop, 
the wrap would also be included. So we're going to head up the hill here in a second to take on Darth Vader and his two stormtroopers. And for a couple weeks, you have the opportunity to have in your loadout Darth Vader's lightsaber and Goku's Kamehameha. How awesome is that? In case you were wondering, the Kamehameha will take Darth Vader out in one shot. I did that last night. It was pretty awesome. I came in sixth in that match. It was a pretty fun match. I took out Darth Vader with a Kamehameha. And I also took out two opponents with one Kamehameha. But back to this match. I'm going to take out the Stormtroopers first. And that'll enable me to focus on Darth Vader. He's a tough customer, I have to say. Here comes a Stormtrooper. Here comes everyone, by the way. Alright, we took one guy down. One Stormtrooper and Darth Vader remain. We knocked that guy out of the game. Jumping around here. The zero point fish will come in handy. Gotta move quick. Took this dude out. I've lost a lot of health and all my shield. By the way, this is what it would be like if I just called the matches and didn't read news. Which do you guys prefer? Do you like hearing about the news? I like to keep you guys apprised as to what's going on in the Fortnite world. We're here at the Imperial Docking Bay Vega. Let me get out of here for a second. I gotta recuperate before I face Darth Vader again. Hopefully there's no one down here waiting for me. Shell or high water? Out here. Let's head in the house. There's someone in the house. We're gonna have to face him. I'll go upstairs for a second. Maybe I could heal up before I face him. Check out that back bling. Pretty smooth, huh? He has the cosmic power imbued by Galactus himself. He was Galactus' very first herald. Galactus had quite a few heralds if you read the comic books. Alright, where'd this dude go? I guess that guy skedaddled. So we're gonna go back for Darth Vader here. I see his exclamation point. He's expecting me. Just gotta get through this maze here. They should put a minotaur in this maze. That'd be funny. He's like, what's up? Uh-oh. Here he comes. He's forcing himself on me. I'm gonna force him out of the game. Sorry, them some bad puns. Let's see if we can finish him off quickly if I can get a storm comes. Too late for that. The storm will be helpful in reducing his health. As you can see, the storm takes out Darth Vader also. Looks like the force doesn't come in too handy there. Alright, he's almost out. He's throwing a bush at me. Alright, he is out skis. Gonna heal up pretty quick before I'm out skis as well. I can't get a victory royale in this game if I'm out of the match, right? Technically, this should have been a crown victory royale, but as you can see right now, I don't have the crown. When I was playing the match, I did not realize that they took the crown away from me. Because you'll see at the very end of the match, I'm right next to two crowns, but I don't pick them up because I'm under the impression that I'm already wearing one. Looks like the joke was on there. Alright, as we're running from the storm, we're going to head over to Fortnite.com. And we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Goku powers up Fortnite and Dragon Ball. Your power is unleashed. The world of Fortnite has never seen such power. Four powerful and iconic Dragon Ball super characters. Son Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, and Beerus have arrived in game. Eternal Shenron, by your name, I summon you forth. A new Power Unleashed tab has arrived in game, full of quests and rewards, available to all players. This new event page tracks your rising power level as you complete new limited time Dragon Ball quests in Battle Royale and Dragon Ball Adventure Island experiences. I'm gonna head up this hill. It's called Lonesome Watch Post. I knew there'd be a fire pit here. Seven sets of quests. 
will test your skills in strength, agility, focus, and more. With each training set you complete, you'll earn a Dragon Ball and raise your power level, unlocking awesome rewards like the Dragon Radar Back Bling, Emotes, Sprays, and Battle Pass levels. Complete your training, collect all seven Dragon Balls, and you'll score the Shenron Glider. That's going to be awesome. I didn't bother getting the cloud for Goku, because I have my sights set on the Shenron Glider. The Power Unleashed quests and the rewards will be available until August 30th. Put that date in your calendar. Please note that the in-game rewards Dragon Radar Backbling and Shenron Glider are not exclusive to Power Unleashed and may be available later in the item shop for purchase. Battle with versus boards. The strongest fighters are always testing themselves. Introducing versus boards. Versus boards pit you and a rival player against one another in a fight to be the island's strongest. Both players must opt into a battle by interacting with a board on the island. Those have replaced the bounty boards, by the way. There's 19 players left in the game. Not to worry, I am going to eliminate some of them. Just not yet. Versus boards pit you and a rival player against one another in a fight to be the island's strongest. Both players must opt into a battle by interacting with a board on the island. And when your opponent is chosen, you each will be revealed on the other's map. You'll then have just five minutes to defeat your opponent and claim victory. Kind of like I'm going to do in this match here. Versus boards have temporarily taken the place of bounty boards. And they can be found where bounty boards were previously. Go even further beyond in Battle Royale. Wield the powers of Sun Goku with a Kamehameha and Nimbus Cloud, also known as Keen Toon, to take flight around the island. More capsules will appear as the storm closes, so watch out for epic showdowns and tests of your power. Note the Kamehameha and Nimbus Cloud, or Keen Toon, items are not in competitive arena or tournament playlists with the exception of the Tournament of Power, coming up in a couple hours. Find Bulma. On a very small island off the coast of the mainland island, you will now find the Kame House. Check out the iconic Dragon Ball location. And if you are ready to part with some of your bars, chat with Bulma, who is wandering around, ready to provide some very powerful items. By the way, it's Kamehameha and Keen Tune that she sells. You didn't hear that from me. Dragon Ball Super Episode Festival. From August 16th until September 17th, fans of the Dragon Ball Super Series, as well as those discovering it for the first time, can board a cruise ship created by the team at Vicenna Studios to chill out watching select Dragon Ball Super episodes. I've been going through the Dragon Ball Super episodes with the English overdubs. I do miss the Japanese audio. I watched Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. Oh yeah, also the movies, there's a bunch of them. In the original Japanese audio, and you really can't beat that. If you can, I recommend bypassing the English overdubs and going straight for the Japanese audio. My wife and I, we were in Kobe, Japan, maybe 10 years ago, and we were watching Dragon Ball. Felt very authentic. Sugoi desu ne? You could find the Dragon Ball Super Episode Festival in Discover, or you can watch a specific episode by using one of the following island codes. You guys could head over to Fortnite.com to check out the specifics. I'll whip through it real quick though. You got episode 9, episode 10, 11, 13, 81, and 98. Jumps around a little bit. Oh, check it out. I leveled up. Dragon Ball Adventure Island. This looks pretty cool. Get ready to go on a Dragon Ball collecting adventure starting August 19th. Explore inspired by iconic locations from Dragon Ball. Soar through a ring course on a Nimbus Cloud. 
at Kame's Palace, prepare food at Goku's house, and traverse an obstacle course at the Ring of Spirit and Time. These are just some of the challenges you will face on your mission to collect the Dragon Balls. When you're ready, test your power in an open player versus player battle arena. Tenkaichi Budokai, or just continue to explore. Tournament of Power. Harness your power and unleash it in the Tournament of Power, taking place in all regions on August 18th, that's today. In the competitive playlist, compete in this Battle Royal Duos tournament for a chance to earn the following prizes. There's only 10 players left, and I cannot believe I haven't run into any of them yet. Here are the prizes. Top 50% on main leaderboard, Angry Vegeta Emoticon. 8 points earned on main leaderboard, Goku's Kanji Banner Icon. And 3 points earned from eliminations with a Kamehameha Beerus Eating Spray. It's quite possible that Beerus loves to eat more than Goku. Play up to 10 Fortnite matches within your region's 3 hour time window. Specific event timing for each region can currently be found in the Compete tab in game. I gotta check that out soon before I miss the tournament. The Tournament of Power will also feature an additional Kamehameha leaderboard for eliminating players with the powerful Kamehameha. Earn three Kamehameha elimination points to be awarded the Beerus Eating Spray. Players must have two-factor authentication enabled and verified on their Epic account to participate, as well as be at account level 50 or above. Alright, I think we're about to run into our first opponent here. Huh? There they are. Change this with the lightsaber. I forgot I even had that on me. That's an awesome weapon. Too bad I played this on Saturday before the Dragon Ball stuff came into the game. Otherwise, I'd have a lightsaber and a Kamehameha ready to go. The funny thing about Darth Vader's lightsaber, I keep forgetting that you can throw it. Honestly, I don't think I've thrown it once this season. Maybe I gotta check that out. Alright, we're gonna glaze over the Dragon Ball item shop. I already put a video up for that. They got Son Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, and Beerus. They also have some back blings like the power pole, the sear fish, the kamesenin shell, and some pickaxes, gliders, and emotes like the power pole, kamesenin staff pickaxe, the nimbus cloud glider, the space pod glider, the charging up emote, fusion ha emote, I picked that one up, and finally the boosting key emote. That came with the Sun Goku skin which I picked up. I didn't go for the bundles, I don't really need Beerus. I almost got Vegeta, I don't really need Bulma. Oh, check that out, someone dropped a crown. We're gonna take this dude out in a second. First, we're gonna smash up their fort. I love those cow catchers. And they're trying to build another fort. Boom, I just sent him flying to his elimination. I wanna point out that there's two crowns right there. Had I known I didn't have the crown, I would have gladly picked up one of them. Of course, at the time I was playing the match, I thought I still had the crown on. Of course, all I had to do is look at Silver Surfer's bald head to know that he doesn't have the crown on. Look at that, I'm right next to it, and I don't pick it up. Too bad for me. No worries, though. There's the bounty board. Of course, it's not a bounty board anymore. So we're just going to chill out for a second here, near these two crowns that I'm not going to pick up. Might as well take a bounty out on my final opponent. When I wipe them out, I can collect the bars. And it'll also tell me where they kind of are at. The radius of where they're at is actually larger than the eye of the storm. That's comical. Alright, I'm going to play it safe here until I locate them. I don't want to get sniped by accident. Silver Surfer's bald head getting sniped. He doesn't really grow hair, does he? 
I keep forgetting I have the lightsaber on me. I played this match on Saturday and I cannot remember how it ended. So we're gonna check that out in a second here. If my count is correct, this is the fourth time ever I've gotten back-to-back -back victory royales. And they all happen this season. Must be a lucky season for me. It's the season of Jiggy Sav. Uh, we're in a prime location here. We got the armored walls. Just build a fort. I'm tempted to go for the loot drop, although that's pretty pointless. I was thinking for a second that they might. I think I do finish this match off with the lightsaber. They're down in that fort there, in case you're wondering. I know I'm looking at the loot drop. I'm gonna pass though. When the storm closes in, I will be safe up here. Alright, there they are. One hit. They smashed up my fort. I'm gonna get closer since I have a lightsaber. I'll drop in on his head. Alright, I'm right on top of him. Let's do this. Bam. Victory Royale for Silver Surfer. Should have been a crown victory royale, but someone robbed me on the battle bus. Who do you guys think it was? Yeah, we earned another victory royale crown. I think we wasted this one. No worries, there are plenty of crowns lying around the map for us to pick up. And wear just like a Burger King crown. Don't forget to support a creator, J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Chicky Seth. Boom. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great fortnight.